is Elect Lady Dalton, and welcome to True Tuesday. Now, we have an awesome another preacher on tonight. This is Elder Candace Blackstock, so you know exactly what to do. Get that iPad, get that computer, your notebook, whatever it is that you read the Word and take notes, and let's go into the Word. Hello, everybody. Welcome. It's True Tuesday. We're here for another Bible study on tonight. Before we get started, we're going to go into prayer. Lord, we come to you right now, God. Thank you for this day, God. We thank you for the opportunity that you give me to come before your people, God. We ask you to keep the hearts and the minds of the people open that they may receive the word on this afternoon. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'll be coming from Matthew, the 6th chapter, the 33rd verse. And I'll be reading from the Amplified Bible. And it reads, But first and most importantly, seek aim at, strive after his kingdom and his righteousness, his way of doing and being right, the attitude and character of God, and all these things will be given unto you. When I first read this scripture, the first thing I thought about was when you lose your keys. We've all lost our keys, and when we lose our keys, it doesn't what matter what happens in life, everything stops to find those keys. We don't talk to nobody. Nobody can help us. If you're not helping us for a look for our keys, we don't want to be bothered. So this is the same thing as God wants to seek him. Seek him like you're looking for those keys. Don't let nothing disturb you. Don't let nothing get in your way. It seems like we seek everything and put Jesus last. It seems like we'll seek our advice from our friends, advice from our family, advice from Facebook, Instagram, and then we pencil Jesus in when all else fails. Then we try Jesus instead of trying him first. We seem to go to social media for a lot of validations. We want to know, um, do I look right? Do they like me? What do they think about me? Um, do I make a good impression? And all these things doesn't matter because once you start worrying about validation from others, you begin to fall into a trap of constantly trying to please others. So God wants us to please him. He says, seek me first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and my righteousness. And all these things will be added. So that's important as we strive, aim after seek what God wants us to. There are so many things that we could be worried about in this day and time. You have the COVID-19, you have your jobs, you have your kids. Are they going back to school? When are they going back to school? If they go back to school. You have your family, your health. You have all these things to think about. And yes, it is human nature to worry. We all worry. We all get frustrated. We all have those things that we worry about. It seems like worrying is part of everyday life. There's something that's got our attention and got our focus. But what God is asking for us to do today is keep our minds stayed on him, and he will take care of everything else. Many times we worry, and we all worry, like I said, and there's times that how many times we laid at middle of the night, and we lost sleep, we lost, didn't eat, we didn't think, we were stressed out, and we worried all night. But how many times has anything changed? Nothing has ever changed because of our worry. We are programmed to worry and try to find a solution. But God says, seek me first. That means we go to him first with a problem, and he'll make the changes. There has not been one time in my life that I have not seen God for a situation to change, and he hasn't. Even if he doesn't change the situation, sometimes he changed me in the midst of the situation. So he can change you in the middle of your circumstances to have peace that passes all understanding within the midst of your storm that you're going through. And then if he does fix the situation, sometimes it's just for his purpose, his glory, the way he wants it to, not basically the way that we want it to. Seeking God and putting him first requires building an intimate relationship with him. That means getting in your word, praying, fasting, intimate relationship. For how you going to know what to seek him for if you don't know who he is? How you know what to seek for if you don't know what you're looking for? So that's the thing. Everything you need is in this word. From the first to the last, everything you need in this word and nothing has changed. Over 200 years that Christ died on the cross and everything that was placed in that word is still good and valid for today. Every situation, your fear, your stress, everything is in the word. So he said you got to have the intimate relationship with him before you can trust him. I'm not going to trust no one with my life if I can't, don't know nothing about them. I'm not going to trust a stranger with anything, my children, my life, if I don't trust him. So that's the same as God wants us to do for him. God knows what we need a lot better than we do. Even though we think we have this plan figured out, we all got this plan of what our life we want it to be, what we hope it to be, what if our children, God knows best. Even though we try to push our kids in a certain direction, that might be what God wants them to do. So in those situations, still seek God first. 
and all things, questions, answers, whatever you need from God, seek him. But while you're seeking him, also listen to make sure that he's talking to you and you're getting the right information, not what you want to hear. When you're going through situations, it's seek him first and everything else will be added. What is everything else? Whatever you need God to be seeking for. So if you're having trouble in your marriage, seek and put him first. Your children are bothering you. Seek and put him first. You're having trouble in finances. Seek and put him first. Your families have issues. Seek God first. Health issues. Seek God first. You're looking for a job. Don't have a job. We actually seek God first. And he said, and his righteousness and his way of doing things and his character. And he will, all things will be given unto you. So I challenge everyone on this week to seek God. Whatever's bothering you, whatever's worrying you, whatever's causing you to lose sleep at night, give it to God first. Go to God before you go to Facebook. Go to God before you go to Instagram. Go to God before you go to your friends. Seek God for what you need to do and watch him turn your situation around. God has done it so many times before. If you just sit back and think, God has never failed you yet. No matter how old you are, how young you are. What have you been through? Whatever you ask God to do, he has done it for you. So I could just seek God first, and I guarantee that he will change in your life. At this time, I thank you again for a true Tuesday. I hope you have blessing as we leave. We're going to say a word of prayer. God, I thank you on this day, God. I ask you, God, that the word that was spoken, God, that touches somebody hard, that they will seek you on this week, God. Seek you for clarification. Seek you when they stress, God. Seek you when they just don't know what to do, God. Put you first and foremost. And we ask all these things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Also, we'd like to announce that our Sunday service, uh, we have Sunday school at 9 a.m., morning worship at 10 a.m., also, again, every Tuesday we have True Tuesday, and you are welcome here at True Word Fellowship at any time.